Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Nokia 8000 which is an Android TV streaming box. Now with everything going off around the Fire Stick at the moment, a lot of people are looking for alternatives and this might be one of those. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm not going to do a full unboxing, you get a plug, you get a HDMI cable, you get a remote which is quite cool, we'll come on to that in a sec. And we get the box itself. Now, obviously, with a Fire Stick or a Chromecast, it's a dongle. This is an actual Android box. And if we take a look at it, at the front, we've just got an LED on there. On the side, we've got a USB 3.0 port. On the other side, we've got nothing. And then on the back, we've got a few more parts there. Can we get focused? And as you can see, you've got the power. You've got an Ethernet port, HDMI, AV out, an optical and a USB-C port as well. Now, with the USB 3.0 and the USB-C port, this is going to be very good for people that like to expand their internal storage or add a hard drive to it. And when it comes to the remote, this is also sound. You've got all the numbers on there. You've got a couple of quick keys as well. You've got Google Assistant. I can't get it focused, can I? There we go. And if I put that next to a Fire Stick remote, you can see there's quite a difference. Another thing with this as well is it is backlit which is another positive if you're somebody that likes to sit in a dark room while you're watching stuff a backlit remote can come in handy now with this box i gave it to my friend for a couple of months because he loves using android tv devices so i said set that up try it out tell me what you think now he's tried various different boxes for me in the past including mequel dynalink and then you've got your Chinese Android boxes, the generic ones. But I'll let you know what he thought later in the video. Right, so if you get the box turned on, you can see it is running Android TV. And a lot of people do prefer this to like your Fire TV devices. It does look clean and nice. You've got all the apps at the top here. You can set as your favourites. You can add more apps to this home screen. And you can also remove them by long holding the enter button. You can open, move and remove from favourites. Another thing you can do on this home screen is scroll to the bottom. Then this allows you to customise the home screen itself. You can add and remove different channels from there. But yeah, it is really nice. But let's take a look in the settings quickly. Now there is a quick key for your settings on here as well, which makes things a lot smoother and a lot faster. If I go on about, what you're going to see is we are using the Nokia Streaming Box 8000. And this is currently running Android TV OS version 12 and this has recently had an update from version 10 so it does look like it's going to keep continuing to support updates which is good news now one of the downsides about this device is the storage if i go down to the storage here you can see the internal shared storage a total of four and a half gigabyte which does sound very small but if your intention is literally just for streaming purposes and installing a few apps to it that shouldn't make too much of a difference. And like I said, the, my friend that's been trying it out hasn't had any issues with storage as of yet. But like we said as well, this box does support external storage if that's something you wanted to expand. Another thing as well, you can see Chromecast is built into this. So if you like casting from your phone to your TV, this box allows you to do that. But it is a nice, clean and fast layout. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be asking, can you sideload apps to this box? So can you install apps that aren't available in the Google Play Store? And the answer is yes. You can install Downloader from the Google Play Store. And just as you would like with a Fire Stick, you can download whatever you want to it. If I now jump over to YouTube and play a quick video after this advert, loads up straight away, looks crisp. Yeah. Very easy to use and plays in very good quality. Another decent feature on this box as well is you do see it on the NVIDIA Shield, but you don't see it on many other devices. If I double tap the home button, what you're going to see is this brings up any apps that are running in the background. Now, by closing this, I don't think it actually force stops the app, but this allows you to move between apps and continue from where you left off. Now, a big downfall with this box is official streaming so if you want to use such as itvx or bbc iplayer these apps unfortunately don't seem to be supported on this device if i go to open up the itvx app you're going to see it says that the application is unavailable and the manufacturer doesn't have the necessary rights for this app so that could be a deal breaker for some people but when it comes to netflix prime video Disney Plus, all those play absolutely fine in full quality. 
It only seems to be those like regional apps like iPlayer and ITV. But like I say, Netflix and that runs absolutely fine. So like we said, with this box, it is quite a good little streaming box. Like I said, I've given my friend quite a few different boxes and this is his favourite. This one's sticking. The remote's played a big part of that as well. He absolutely loves that. But he does say, compared to any boxes he's tried in the past, this seems a lot snappier, a lot faster, more responsive, a nice clean layout. So I said to him, would you recommend that people buy this box? Do you think they'd be happy with it? And he did say yes. Now, just quickly, a couple of like pros and cons to this. It is running Android TV. The Ethernet port on the back, I think that's capped off at 100 meg download. Now, I think this box has got 2 gigabyte of RAM. Obviously, it said 4.5 gigabyte internal storage, but there's obviously the option to expand that storage as well. Now, when it comes to pricing, it is actually very reasonable. I think I got it around £46 because it was an offer. I've taken a look and I think it is still on offer at the moment. It always is. I think it's around 50 to 60 pound and there is another version of this box which has 32 gigabyte of internal storage but it does say that that one's unavailable but for 50 to 60 pound i think that's a really good alternative to such as your fire stick 4k mics so that's a look at the nokia 8000 android tv streaming box i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section down below what's your opinions of it do you think it's any good do you think they're not worth it? It's always good to see and it's good for people watching the video that can go into the comments and see your thoughts as well. But yeah, I got it off Amazon if you're interested in checking it out. And that's it for this one, right? So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!